so we're heading north on uh, Corkery Road. We passed the NRO uh, Resort and Campground about a mile ago. And in a moment, we'll take a right onto Box Hollow Road. And that will mean we are getting pretty close to the property. So Corkery is paved, Box Hollow is gravel. And here's Box Hollow on the right. There's actually a little restaurant there, which is kind of cool. Wings and breadsticks. It says they're open. That's handy. Okay, so we're headed east on Box Hollow. And I don't have the detailed map with me, so I'm not positive how far we go. But I'll set the trip meter, and when we get there, uh, I'll try to remember to look at the trip meter. Beautiful, beautiful area. It's just gorgeous out here. So much wildlife and very close to the Niagara River. Uh, I believe this road, I believe Box Hollow Road, um, goes down to the river. And if you keep going straight on Corkery, uh, that's another way to access the river. another kind of a silver gate double silver gate and just a little ways past that on the right and we'll be at the uh, at the property only five minutes five miles I guess from uh, Bennett Springs State Park which is an amazing place for uh, fishing and, and camping and recreation if you're into fishing, then you already know that the uh, Niagara River is one of the few rivers in Missouri where you can fish for trout. Okay, so I'm checking the map here. And I do believe that that is the property on the right side of the road. Looks great, looks like a campground. I'll pull in here. Let's go have a look. Once again, I forgot to bring the detailed map, so I don't have the exact size of this property. Nice timber here on the north side. It's beautiful. And of course, that's Box Hollow Road, so land on the right. And as we look back toward the uh, west, what did I do? There we go. As we look back toward the west, the land on the left. This is interesting, just that the way this is, uh, uh, the way this looks, it, it's a natural uh, area, but it looks, almost as if it's been cleared for uh, for a, a campground. There's no brush, and there's mature timber everywhere. This is really interesting, I love this. Oh, what a perfect place to camp. Oak trees all over the place, predominantly oak trees on this north side. I'm sure as we go south and it starts to slope down, uh, we'd get into some cedar trees and possibly some pine trees. This is really interesting up here. We've had properties where the guys have literally spent days clearing out the brush by hand to try to get it to look like this. And here nature has done it all for us. Very interesting. I've only seen this property from the road, so this is a brand new experience for me. I've been spending some time just right in this area uh, and just kind of driving around and seeing what can be seen and 
Uh, so much to see and do around here. Quite a few small uh, family-owned resorts. And Bennett Springs, of course, is fantastic. If you're into uh, camping and recreation and whatnot, you will just not run out of stuff to do out here in this section of Dallas County. We're actually not that far out of Lebanon, Missouri, which is a, a fairly large regional town for the area. And this has stayed level. We're back several hundred feet now. This has stayed level and it's finally starting to slope down. And I recall seeing that on the topo map. Back here, this would be a potential site for building or camping, definitely. It's fairly sunny today, but we do have some patchy clouds and that's, that's showing up right now if you see all these shadows in the video. Now this is interesting. Here the land slopes down. Down to the left, about halfway down, I can see a grassy area. So that is probably a natural glade. That's very interesting. Set up your campsite or your cabin right here. You can be at the river in about two minutes. Yeah, that grassy area looks like a natural glade down there. I don't know if I'll walk down or not right now. I love the Ozarks because when you're, when you're getting into a larger property like this, um, you can have all these, different, all these different terrains and basically different ecosystems all on the same property. So here we've transitioned from this large hardwood timber and as we start to slope down I'm starting to see some smaller cedar trees. Hickory trees, although I guess that's still a hardwood. We'll leave it up to you guys to explore the whole property, but when we look at the terrain here uh, this is the right kind of terrain to have uh, a natural spring somewhere and potentially even a cave. You start to get into terrain like this and that's where you find these, uh, these caves. I have no idea if you'll find a spring or a cave on the property, but when you have this this sloping terrain here, that's uh, that's where you will find those types of things. And down there at the bottom, that's a, a dry creek bed, so that's obviously a wet weather creek. Nice view off to the south, very pretty. Native grass here on this hillside, and this, I believe, you would classify this as a as a glade. When you have that native grass and these. Uh, I believe limestone outcroppings. Maybe someone could correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's correct. Now we're losing our sun again. Well, that gives us a pretty good look at this tract. Feel free to come on out and uh, bring your hiking boots or your four-wheeler or whatever you want to do out here and take your time and check it all over. You can call us in the office at 417-882-3400 you can certainly email us anytime at sales at instantacres.com. Uh, you can check out our website at instantacres.com uh, to see if this property is still available. The acreage on Box Hollow Road in Dallas County, Missouri.